Now I'd like to for have you teach us all a lesson about Sichuan peppercorns. Before I came here, I brought from my home uh, my inferior Virginia suburban peppercorns, bought at a local Chinese market, and you brought from Sichuan province uh, your own version of the, Sichuan peppercorns. The good stuff. The good stuff. <laughs> and if you could try the two for us, and you're all welcomed at the table to try along. Well, I would like, can you pass that around and everyone have a sniff of the one These are the inferior, brought? what you call inferior peppercorns. And then keep the lid on between and take the lid off and sure. put your nose in that box and have a good sniff. And don't taste it until instructed. <laughs> yes. Yours are better. Well, the first thing is, as soon as you open that pot, you get this overwhelming, gorgeous, slightly citrusy fragrance, which is very distinctive, right? Um, yes. So that tells you it's very fresh and lovely citron pepper. Then if you take one of the, the, the ones I brought and put mm. it in your mouth, and what I would suggest is chew it very juicily at the front of your mouth about three times and then take it out because it's delayed reaction. Amazing. Yeah? Yes. So your tongue is beginning to sing and dance and mm -hmm. tingle, yeah? Yes. So that is that is what they call in Chinese ma. Um, it means um, sort of tingling sensation, the same word for pins and needles and anesthesia. So if the Sichuan pepper is not that great, you don't get the tingle. So you get some aroma, but this is simply overwhelming. And that's why I said just put one in your mouth and take it out after a few seconds, because if you put a handful in and you keep chewing it, it will be overwhelming. <laughs> now, in terms of the history of my Sichuan peppercorns and the history of yours, these at least pretend they're from China, correct? Is it that they're from the wrong place or they've been sitting around too long or you know the best source? What's the underlying difference between, behind the difference? Well, in Sichuan, they would say that the best Sichuan pepper comes from a particular region, Hanyuan, in the, in the west of Sichuan. So there's a real, as you know, I said, a concern with provenance of things. Um, also, so I think there are different varieties which will be more fruity and less fruity. Um, and the other thing is, and I don't, uh, I think most of the Sichuan pepper that is exported has been exported and handled by Cantonese people. And in parts of China, apart from Sichuan, Sichuan pepper is used differently. So it's used in spice combinations. It's used to take away the fishiness of meat and poultry ingredients. That's a Chinese culinary concept. But it's not used for this tingling ma sensation. So unless you're Sichuanese, you're not going to be seeking out the really zingy Sichuan pepper. I think that's the problem, really, that you, you would need Sichuanese exporters taking command <laughs> and making sure we all get the tingly Sichuan pepper.